Watering pigs on pasture can be one of the more difficult things on the farm. I'm Rob from Dowdle Family Farms, and this right here is one of the best ways I've found to water our pigs. I've tried putting pig nipple drinkers on 55 gallon drums and IBC totes, and this is by far the best. This setup is a little bit different than our normal setup because we have our breeder pigs in here, specifically our boar, and he has a really big head. Is usually I have the water tank turned 90 degrees from the way it is now so that the pigs can stick their heads in here to drink. We only have six pigs on this water trough so it doesn't take a whole lot of water, but they are big pigs with big heads. The problem with feeding little pigs like this is a little pig will get in this water trough to try to cool down, muddy it up, urinate in it, and then you don't have clean water for your pigs. So for smaller pigs, I usually have this stock tank rotated 90 degrees. I have a strand of poly wire stretching right across the top of it so that the pigs, if they try to get into the stock tank, they'll get shocked. They rarely try once they're trained to the electric fence. And in this one here, uh, there's plenty of water for the pigs, especially for the six pigs that would drink at one time. We use a 50 gallon or a 70 gallon stock tank. I like the 70 gallon stock tanks. They're a little bit more expensive. However, um, they, they do offer a bit more water and which means there's a little bit more weight in the water trough. And so the pigs don't move it around quite as much. So now let me back up and show you how we assembled it. It's real simple. So this is the Job Rojo valve. Uh, this one has a half inch inlet stem on it. Some of them have a three quarter inch and I prefer the half inch because it requires fewer parts. It comes with a float ball and it also comes with a rope that you can tie to the float ball in here and you can tie it with a rope. It comes with an extendable arm and then two little stove bolts there as well that you can use uh, to attach that arm if you need to. On this installation, I'm probably just gonna use an individual ball and not the arm, and I certainly don't need that string. The string is most helpful uh, if you're doing a really large livestock tank uh, and you're installing this from the side, the bottom of the side. So I've got a three quarter inch hole right there. All right, Charlotte, can you stand right there for me? Yep. You'll notice it comes with a, a little rubber washer there that you seal up from the inside. This thing comes apart. Just make sure that it's tight right there. And then you push it up. That stem is pointed down to the bottom and then you just tighten it down because that's a pressure fitting against the side of the tank you do not need pipe tape or pipe dope on that fitting now that that's on there i can just use a half inch female npt by a three eighths inch barb i'm using a three eighths inch barb because i'm using this three eighths flexilla um, air hose it's free it'll freeze but it'll thaw uh, and it'll do all that without breaking i really like this um, so let me grab that fitting um, on my ibc tank i have this it's a three eighths inch uh, adapter to this two inch cam lock and i've got a variety of fittings here usually i prefer having just a water hose fitting or a half inch fitting but i didn't have all those so i had to use all this stuff that my local hardware store had i like to keep about 12 feet or so minimum on my hoses i don't have to have quite that much but i find that if there's uneven terrain or something else it gives me a little bit more flexibility into where i set up the stock tank these job rojo valves the reason i like them is that they're low flow and they require low pressure. Once you get the high pressure or mega flow valves, the problem with those is they don't work at all on a gravity fed system, uh, which is what I use. Uh, you can use larger hoses and that'll work just fine. The reason I don't like the larger hoses though is because 
the larger hoses tend to uh, fill up faster and what I find is pigs inevitably try to waste and tilt over the tanks and everything else um, it is a little bit more difficult initially when we're installing the tanks because we've got to fill the tank up by hand but if you have a water leak it just requires a little bit more time for the water to empty out of the tank several hours because we usually check our pigs and uh, at least once a day uh, if there's a problem it'll slowly give enough water for the pigs to drink and water and cool in one thing that you'll notice the bottom of this valve of that stem there is what points down and so I like having it a couple inches from the top I hope you found this little instructional video helpful it's very easy it's very simple to set up the one thing that you do have to watch out for is if you get one of the Joe Rojo valves with a thick three-quarter inch stem you'll have to drill a hole that's about one and an eighth inch in your side of your tank and you'll also have to step down from three-quarter inch fittings down to your three-eighths inch uh, air hose uh, you can also use water hose fittings or you can use just a standard uh, half inch or three quarter inch uh, air hose as well. Flexol makes those and they work really well. I just like the three eighths inch hose because uh, we rarely have a whole lot of pigs drinking at once and many times we have two different waters in a pig paddock especially if the pigs are out in the sun. So I hope this video helps you. If you use a different setup, let me know how it works for you. Until next time, take care and have a great day.